Hey, it's Visa. When it comes to puzzle games, I'm a natural. You see this square? <laughs> I can make it go into a circle. <laughs> puzzles to gamers are the same as grandma's to puzzles. They just work. They're a staple in the industry. They add small obstacles that some consider fluff, while others consider the meat and potatoes of their video game stew. Whenever one pops up, I love it. I see it as a good way to break up the gameplay experience, give you something new so your mind doesn't become mush from doing the same thing over and over. Now, when it becomes nothing but puzzles, is it fun? Short answer is yes. Long answer, ah, my brain hurts. I adore the concept of a game meant to just pick at your brain in a different way. I'm a pretty smart guy. I'm a whiz when it comes to puzzle games, so I love them. Hey, I've played Tetris 99 before, a battle royale where you gotta fight to the death with 98 other people, and I actually won. So when I talk about good puzzle games, I know what I'm talking about. This picture doesn't lie, and neither does this game. So you need to check out Pushmo. Question, what the hell's a Pushmo? Pushmo is a series of downloadable video games developed by intelligent systems. You know the guys who created Fire Emblem, right? I love Fire Emblem, and this game is basically if you strip away all the RPG nonsense, the anime characters, and just kept the puzzles. Great! Exactly how I like my games. Bread, bread, and more bread! Exactly, buddy! This is a puzzle lover's dream. I'm telling you now, you're gonna love it! Pushmo takes place in the land of Pushmo Park. The game starts with our protagonist, Malo, who arrives at the park with a bunch of other kids for a tour, all hoping to see the great creation that Papa Blocks has made. However, we got a rotten apple in this bunch. One kid ruins it for everyone else. He starts stuffing other kids into pushmos. Giant blocks are the equivalent of a jungle gym set. Easy to get in, hard to get out. Hey, get me out of here! Papa Blocks hurt his back, and he can't do anything to stop this ne'er-do-well. So that's where you come in. You have to save the day by climbing each pushmo and pulling those kids right on out of them. So you're just a little guy who pushes stuff? And pull. Well, what's not to get? That sounds easy. Oh, it is a very simple concept. Man, does these puzzles become tricky. They start off with the easy direction. That's a way to get you into the mechanics. However, as time goes on, they reveal more and more difficult problems that you have to solve. Personally, it really gets the gears going in my brain, and I love that feeling. What? How, how the hell do I get up there? Before going into each puzzle, it has stars telling how difficult the puzzle will be, so you usually know what you're getting yourself into. What I really like about this game is that even if you get stuck on a puzzle, it allows you to skip over them after trying for a bit. It rewards you for your efforts in attempting them, so you can experience more of the game, even if that one puzzle is giving you a hard time. I'm free! There are so many good puzzles in this game that just deliver on that feeling of pure satisfaction when completing them. Not only that, but after completing most of them, you unlock some of my favorite puzzle experiences ever. They turn various images from games into elaborate puzzles that are just a 10 out of 10 experience. I've always been a big fan of good pixel art. I mean, how could you not be? It's pixel art. It's the foundation of gaming that just always feels so nice and right at home. This series of games had a few sequels before stopping, which is understandable. There's only so much puzzling that a company can handle. Plus, after each game, they kept changing up the mechanics and reinventing itself. In doing so, we have Pushmo, Crashmo, Pushmo World, Stretchmo. Jesus, what other modes can they make? What's next? Fight Mo? In all honesty though, I would love for this series to make a comeback. We don't have too many fun, puzzle-loving games, and it would be awesome to have more. Now, I do have to bring up the one gripe that some people might have with this game is the music. Yep, that's about it. There's not really a lot of music in these games. It's pretty straightforward, puzzle-solving fun. Some to pick up, play, and come back to later. Although it could be a big con for a lot of people, I feel like it adds this level of charm to it that just feels so comforting. A sense of familiarity. Yep, that's Pushmo. I never got bored with the music, surprisingly. More just became background noise helped me focus on how to tackle the puzzle, all providing this light and fluffy feeling, kind of like all the denizens of the game. Pushmo has one other unique feature that I have to point out. Pushmo Studio. It's a way for players to create and share their own puzzles. You can share through QR code, so Nintendo services are not required. Yeah, eat it, Nintendo! Whoa, easy there, Vizo. No need to piss off the big guy. This mode added so much more playability to the game. Similar to the likes of Mario Maker, but not as complex. It's so fascinating and fun to see what other people around the world make. Now, to get these custom puzzles, all you gotta do is scan the QR code, and... Sweet! I got a Mega Man! 
At the end of the day, Pushmo is just such a unique experience. We don't get a lot of puzzle games because not a lot of people are into them. It's understandable. The market for video games is so big. With a niche like this, it's bound to get lost in the shuffle. In my opinion, sometimes a simple experience can be the best experience. It really is a pick up and play game that just reminds me of a simpler Mario Maker. You don't have to think too hard, but at the same time, you're welcome to think as hard as you want. Who knew a little guy could beat so many obstacles? Pushmo gave me a newfound respect for puzzle games. I see the charm now, and I hope you do too. Now, if you want to support your local little guy, call 555-780-LITTLEGUYSRULE. That's right, 555-780-LITTLEGUYSRULE. And only for five small installments of $59.99, you can get your own little guy just like Malo. Now ain't that great? You don't want to miss out on this bargain deal. Hey, it was just a joke. I was kidding! Let me out of here!